Hi everybody, it's Micheline from Michelle Makes again with a vlog, uh, a January 2019 vlog. Happy New Year. Um, I hope you all had a great Christmas and a lovely New Year. We, as some of you may know, we went to France for the New Year. I wouldn't say it was exactly a holiday, it was kind of a working holiday you could say. Uh, we have a friend who is a divorcee who has a house in northern France. And uh, many, many times, as you know, I'm half French and my father um, used to live, he was originally from Dinan, from the Brittany area. My sister lives in the Charente area. Uh, she's been living there since she was 26 and she's now 75. And um, my most of my family came from... Uh, where did they come from? From the Le Mans area, which is the Loire Valley. And so driving up through France all those years, year after year after year, we uh, you always drove past up the north. When you came to the northern part of France, it was kind of, let's get to Calais quickly and let's get across on the boat. And uh, one day, a friend of ours, she she uh, was divorced and she wanted to buy a house, uh, some uh, a holiday home there in France but she didn't want it to be too far away from England so she could nip across as often as she could and so she chose a place which was an hour's drive south of Calais and before my father died when I used to go there I used to say to him I do love that region it's really nice we, we got to see the coast there we got to see the towns there and um Quite a lot of the places were really nice and when I was telling him that he said well that's where your, your grandfather came from he actually came from the French border from the French Belgian border and obviously um, when the first world war and the second world war was on they got very badly that area got badly damaged a lot of towns got basically obliterated and the one that my grandfather lived in was actually towards the border of Belgium and um, and it's a long story, but uh, he got injured in the war and he was re relocated to Brittany. And that's where my father was uh, born and was raised. And one day I'll tell you a bit more about that. Um, so I was quite, I said, well, I'm really impressed by that area. And of course, year on year for the past five or six years, we've gone regularly on, on New Year. Our New Year has been to go and visit Liz. Liz, the girl is called Liz. And uh, we thought, right, we'll go and visit Liz. And we go with another couple called John and Barbara. And John is a builder. And uh, so we go and John is one of those people, he's a, he's a builder, he's a scout leader, he does everything, does not like sitting still, has to be doing things and often we'll go, suddenly go off for a six mile walk or we'll suddenly say, right, what can I do Liz? So we arrived at Liz's house. Now Liz is being a divorcee, didn't have a great, doesn't have a great deal of spare cash and last year, I think it was last year, in June her house along with a lot of other people's houses in france got bombarded their roofs got, got bombarded with massive massive hailstones and this was in the middle of june where you usually get good weather and she ended up with about 200 holes in the roof of her house and um she had to get that she had to get it repaired but they, because it was June, June, July, the builders, the people who, the roofers couldn't do it because they were on a job. Then the French in France, everybody goes on holiday in August. And so it didn't, she didn't get a roof done until November. And what they had, they had put polythene over, a big uh, tarmac or poly, a big uh, polythene sheet over the top of the roof. But it still meant that the house was getting a bit damp and, and it was exposed. So uh, last November, I think it was, she got a new roof put on and uh, she didn't reckon we should stay there. We usually go there for the new year and she said, don't come because it's very damp and I don't want you getting ill. So this year we went and we walked through the door and said, way, great to see you, Liz. Lovely to see you. What do you want? And John said, what do you want us to do? And she brought out a list that long of I want a light fitted here, I want this done here, there's damping in the roof, so we want this done and that done. Well, half of it couldn't be done, but we thought, well, we'll do the small jobs. But John didn't bring his toolkit with him, did he? 
and um, instead they had a spanner, a screwdriver and something else. You, I'll put a quick video of a little continuation of what happened. So we um, we spent a lot of time fixing things and putting things right for her and um, and then we um, we only went to visit the, the local town twice. Once to go during the daytime. It's a town called Montreuil. Montreuil-sur-Mer, which means Montreuil by the sea. But it's not by the sea. It's about 10 miles away from the sea. Oh, I've got a pussycat under here. It's about 10 miles from the sea. And the reason being that apparently, you don't know how long ago, but it used to be have the sea round it, but the sea has receded and it's gone to the coast. Now, I don't know how long ago that was. It sounds like it was a lot of years. But anyway... This place, it's it's actually on a, it's like a fortified town. You've got to go up a, a steep bank up to the top and it's got a wall around it. And when you walk around the wall, England would not allow that because there's a massive drop and there's a path that goes right around the, the, the uh, what you call battlements, the batiment. And there's a big massive 20 to 30 foot drop over the other side. And if, if that was England, if that was England, they would not let them do it. And so I would imagine there's quite a few people on a dark night if they've gone for a wander around there has actually fallen off the edge and it's quite scary. I'm not afraid of heights, but my husband is and he was going, oh, don't go near there, don't go near there. <laughs> I was going, what's the matter? What, what, what are you frightened of? And he's going, well, you come away from there, come away. <laughs> I'm also come back with a full accord. <coughs> so anyway, just enjoy your little, uh, I hope you enjoy it, it's not much to show you or it's a bit of a rant now and then. Oh and the one thing I've got to tell you is, the men do all the cooking, we women don't do much, we'll prepare the vegetables, uh, but most of the men do all the cooking. And can I just add one other thing, I am a water drinker, not because I'm an alcoholic, not because of anything that I've, I've always loved water, and, I'm the, and I would much prefer to drink and it's usually fizzy water that I like, which is probably not good for me. But I much prefer to have a glass of fizzy water than half the alcohol that I'm offered. I do like the odd glass of white wine, and um, which is very strange that I'm like that because I've got a father who was French, who right till he was till till the day he died, ninety three, he always swore by having a glass of red one glass of red wine with his meal every day, and he used to say it was very good for you. Um, and uh, I think I've I think I've acquired my mother's <laughs> the English side because she was always an orange juice and soda water or something like that that she used to drink. So um, she was a soft drink person, and and I remember a couple of times we used to give her something a little bit more. I think we well, once I went out for a meal and uh, at one of these. Um, Oh, what were they? They were like a, a medieval meal. It was a medieval meal in one of the castles that they used to have. And we uh, we, we all went out as a family there. But they poured mead into the glasses for us. And it tastes just like an ordinary juice. And my mother was saying, oh, this is lovely. This is lovely, this. Oh, it's lovely. And then on the way out, she was staggering round like that. She couldn't walk straight. So it was really, uh, it was good fun to watch her. Uh, I have been known to be tested with alcohol sometimes and it just goes, one glass goes straight to my head. Um, my husband's kids try to get me to do this thing. I, 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 is it tequila or something where you, you put salt on your on your wrist, lick it up and then and then swig a little glass back? <laughs> I was absolutely, I, I was, I, after that I was going, oh God, this is awful. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you enjoy it. I've ranted on a bit too much and, I'm, and uh, I've got a few other videos to do. I'm trying to get most of them done today. So you'll probably see the same outfit all the time. The cardigan because I'm in my workshop. You can see behind here. This my heat press, my guillotine, um, my engraving machine, little mini one. I've got a big one at work and my laptop that's connected to it. And um, it's a bit, I won't point down here because everything's been thrown in here. I'm sitting around uh, boxes, car seats, child car seats, um, a right mess and I need to get it tidied up. It does my head in when it's untidy. Um, 
So enjoy the film and I'll talk to you later. Bye. May confirm. Tins of um, boiled sweets. Okay. Yeah. Lemon and and um, um, the other one. This reminds me of, uh, what do you call it? Oh, Rodney and Delpoy. Rodney Del and Delpoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Rodney. I got it. I got it. I'll turn you on it. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, found it, Yeah, I see he's found the nut. I told you we could trust him. Well, come on, get this out. I'm starting to undo it. No! <laughs> Go on, Billy, we ain't even up the letters yet. Granddad, don't you touch nothing till we tell you. <laughs> Come on, we better get up there. All right, Rodney, is anything you want? Yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> I'm out of sight. That is all right. Look, this is the chance I've been waiting for. Now, don't let me down, Rodney. Now, don't let me down. All right? All right, Grandad, we're ready. You can start undoing it now. He's coming, Bill boy. <laughs> One more turn, Bill. All right. Now brace yourself, Rodney. Brace yourself. <laughs> Chandelier up in the stately home. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Are you ready? Ready? Stand ready. back! Ready. Stand ready. back! <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, stand I'm back! Need a ladder. This is like Rodney. It's like Rodney and Mark. You need to switch it off. Switch it off. Oh, look at it. 
Oh no! Is it the one I screwed in? It is. <laughs> He's got a moustache. <laughs> He's got a little moustache. <laughs> Hello. Hello, pussycat. Hello. Hello. You're a funny looking cat, aren't you? Are you a funny little... Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Hmm. You're all bones. Yes, you are. You're not getting much dinner in you, are you? Not much food in that cat. Right, sorry, it has to stop that. <laughs> so this is <clears throat> our chicken curry. Chicken, chicken and prawn. prawn curry made by our gentleman John and Brian <laughs> and we've also got homemade chapatis is that what we call yes. it? Yes. Chapatis and Bombay potatoes and that's <laughs> been made by our lovely Liz. Cheers. 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 And Happy New Year to everybody. Yes. 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 Cheers. 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 Everybody's got the wine. Warn everybody. And Michelle. I've got the prawns need my to bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> All I said was, are you doing a video? She wasn't doing a video until I said, are you doing a video? So she started doing the video. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New 2019. And we are in France, in, in a Christmas tree up here. And there's music coming out of one of the things. And just me now. Just you now, yeah. Right, we'll leave you there. Bye. <laughs>
very cold today. My fingers are actually freezing off, but it's a lovely, I love this place. It's called Montreuil. Montreuil sur mer, which means Montreuil on the, by the sea. It's cold, they're cold and they're freezing and they just want to get home and get warmed up by the fire. Uh -huh. So we have to push that on there on the pipe uh -huh. and then that on top to try and keep oh, it. No. Uh -huh. Then I have to hold it uh -huh. and turn the other tap uh -huh. and then I shout to John. Uh -huh. But sometimes he thinks I've shouted before I've shouted. Uh -huh. I see, and he turns the tap on and you get soaking wet. <laughs> so I'm totally soaked <laughs> and all he can do is laugh. <laughs> This bit can go back on. Oh, are, are you filming? Uh -huh, I am. <laughs> so is it done? Have you done the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at her plants on the floor. Who's knocked her plants over? Slippers on. Right, we'll see that. See that valve there? Uh -huh. We started with the black dial right down on zero uh -huh. and we then pumped it up, bled the radiators, uh -huh. which drew it back, yeah. and now we've pumped it up again. We think there's a leak. Oh, you think there's a leak? But, but this will tell us, we'll check it in a few hours and see if it's mm -hmm. dropped. Yes. Wow. So there you go. So there you go. Oh, I think it's cracking. Oh, wow. Our old oven's cracking. We're getting rid of the old dishwasher. It was leaking and horrible. So we're getting rid of it. So we've come to have a look at a brocante in France and it has some lovely things. The star, what they're doing is they are stripping the furniture down. Let me have a look and show you. Here, this chest of drawers, this is uh, drawer and it's been stripped down. I think this, I think they've sandblasted it. The very old units like that and the sand blasted it and there's more here look at this sand blasted that it's gorgeous if you like that sort of thing but i still think it's that and then someone's done a, a bureau completely sand blasted
across a lot of these patterns in this uh, brocante. Um, these ones, coat for a child, a skirt by Patron Model. What year is this? I'll say what year it is. There's a coat. Look at the size of that coat. Not exactly uh, balanced the size of the coat to the child. Marie Claire. That's a very popular name, Marie Claire pattern and magazines. This one is Marie Claire, Elegant de Paris, 12 to 14 years. This one, the jacket. And this is for size 42 to 46. And then you have this one. Oh, look at the width of her waist. My golly. You could put about 10 of mine into there. <laughs> Skirt again, a man's jacket, a cape. I used to wear capes like that years ago. I had a, a black watch tartan one, I loved it. I like the way that's fast, I like the way that does there down there. So it's actually sat an uh, asymmetrical one, I think. The back of the pattern. Look at this one. The jacket. Quite like that. Mm. I just go for those. Now these are patterns. They're actually when you open up the like the birder where they've got a pattern on the inside. You open it up. It's a big sheet with the instructions of what to do. And then inside if I can open it to the middle. Traceable pattern. There you go. Oh, it's not Joanna and Emily. She looks like it. Salmon, salmon and prawns and roasted vegetables and in the roasted vegetables there are potatoes, carrots, beetroot, tomatoes, Sorry, mushrooms, mushrooms, in, mushrooms, in, put mushrooms in, yes, and Mushroom. onions and then there's potatoes a la Comte, Comte, <laughs> a la Comte, 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 Comte Creme, Comte Creme. Yeah. A la Comte Where? Crème. Eh? Where? Santé. Santé. Working with hand tools. <coughs> well, we can, all we could find was a, a multi knife, a spanner, two small screwdrivers, and a pair of slippers. <laughs> You've come prepared then, haven't you? Oh, 
No. <coughs> oh, is that the old one? Smash it. And the log was about that. It's <laughs> too sharp. Oh, God. She <laughs> said to drag it back over there. I am the log man. <laughs> he is the walrus. Look who get you. And what are you going to do? You're going to stand on top of there? You're not going to stand on top of there. Oh, people. <coughs> are you kidding? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I just did it with a bloody hammer because I'm fed up. <laughs> right. Stand back. Stand <coughs> Mind your hand. Right. Right. <laughs> it's gonna be harder than the logs. <laughs> ah, nothing can withstand the hammer of four. Why don't you just cut the wire? <laughs> you didn't think of that. We but... don't know that if it's live or not. It's probably dead, but we oh, didn't I see. Want to check it. We to check oh, I see, right. Because you didn't. Well, you, you if you'd hit that with a hammer, you could have electrocuted exactly. yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. We're, we're experts. We know exactly what we've got there. Oh, sorry, the tester. Hang on, we have a tester. Wow, splendiferous toolkit. <laughs> <coughs> pocket tool. <coughs> the boy's pocket toolkit. Three screwdrivers and a spanner. <laughs> it's all dead. All it's all dead. dead. We're happy now. I won't shout bang at the top of my voice because anything can happen at our age. I hope you're joking. You've got another one. I'll stand back and I'll switch it on. See if it works. Will it switch on because it's light sensitive, isn't it? Well, it should come on, come on off. With movement. With movement. Yeah. We're all wired. Yeah. Stand back, everybody. No. 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 Top. See what you're doing. Oh, they're on. It's on. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it works. These carrots no. because he ain't brought his fish pie yet. They're lovely. They're, They're lovely. Lovely. The French French carrots, really right. nice. Did you stick one on my fork for me? Oh, please? she wants one now. You see. Oh, sorry. Stick, Did you stick a carrot on my fork. Oh, it's a stranger crest. Can you stick one on my fork? <laughs> Could you please? <laughs> we had that conversation. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Green carrot <laughs> stuck on fork. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Ready? Steady go. Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. Da 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 Yes. Yes. You'll yes. Need John and now, who, was, who are the creators of this fish pie? No. The, the, is no, John and the Brian two collected men. With, John and with, Brian no, collected. The, there was some help from Barbara on spuds. Barbara on from spuds. And carrots. And carrots. And, carrots. and, and Liz Elizabeth. on sauce. And eggs. And, and eggs. And eggs. And eggs. And eggs. Oh, yeah, eggs in it. Eggs. 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 Can, can I just Another say? And I didn't do a yes, thing. Did. What did I do? 
You've been washing up all the time. Oh, I'm the, been, I'm the you, washer upper. Washer upper. I'm the washer. You're upper. the pot washer, Michelin. <laughs> I'm the pot washer. Well, I just like to point out. Yeah. Another of my pet I am the pot washer. Pot washer. Pot washer. What? Another of my pet hates is washing pants. Is, no, is people who don't soak them. So that they're so? easier to wash. Oh, I, I, so, I, so as long as they come off with the Brillo pad, I'm not bothered. What do you say, John? We don't have to wash them, so we don't think about it. <laughs>